Hey, good evening, and welcome to Performance Talk number four. This evening we have Coach Jeremy joining us. He should be coming in very shortly. Uh, we have a, a great young coach joining us to talk about tennis and performance and learn about him and what he's doing and his programming, and uh, very much looking forward to have Jeremy joining us here very shortly. He should be in right about 8 o'clock. Again, hopefully we don't have any uh, technical issues, but if we do, we'll figure it out and we'll get back on to you. Uh, before we uh, move forward, what I would like to do is thank our sponsors. Uh, our first sponsor, and as always, Sway Medical. Sway, we thank you very much for everything you do for us here. Uh, we truly do appreciate it. Um, you're awesome. Uh, we use Sway for our, uh, our performance team, and we're constantly tracking them. So Sway is generally uh, used for a balance and reaction time test. Uh, seen in many uh, concussion management protocol systems. However, we use it for performance, so we actually track the kids uh, morning and night, before practice, after practice, to get an understanding of where their body is based uh, or compared to their baseline uh, for reaction time and uh, for uh, balance. So it's a great indicator, you know, is the child... Um, you know, hydrated enough, uh, how's the nutrition, did it get sleep, maybe there's an indication of a, a, a small injury, something we can take care of right away as opposed to waiting longer. So we thank them very much for uh, everything they do for us and the athletes. Our uh, other sponsor that we'd like to thank this evening is Team X. Team X is an amazing uh, organizational application to allow you to communicate, do online processing and bill payment um, event management so you can create events and uh, know, you know, when, know when practices are and games and matches and tournaments, um, it's everything like that. It's awesome. But the cool really piece that I love about Team X is the college recruit piece. So we have, um, or they have, 23 different, or 27, excuse me, 27 different sports that you can actually connect with the coaches from NCAA to NAIA to um, junior college all with inside the application so that you can communicate with these colleges. You can track what the current uh, needs are or what you need to get into those schools as far as SATs and ACT scores are. And a click of a button, you can tell exactly what the tuition is going to be uh, and then communicate with the coaches and share film with them. So and I think that's for 27 sports. So it's an unbelievable application. Uh, take a look at it. It's called Team X Solutions Online. Uh, and, and if you're ever interested in leveraging it, please let us know and we'll make sure we hook you up. Uh, with a very special deal. So uh, communicate with us and let us know. You can just message me. It's very easy to do so. So it's almost 8 o'clock. We're just waiting for Jeremy to join us here. He should be coming in very shortly, and we'll make sure that he can get in and see us. Uh, I see a couple of people logging in right now. Uh, what I love about this show is we get about 10,000 views, but it's all done afterwards, so it's pretty cool. Uh, even though we stream live, we get a couple of people popping in and out, but then we, we actually put the show out on the, on, uh, in, a, in the Internet space, and allow our uh, guests to get a ton of views. So it's pretty awesome. So thank you for uh, watching the videos and sharing with our coaches. And please take advantage if you know, you've know you met a few of our coaches so far that we've spoken with. And hopefully you're taking advantage of what they're doing if you're in their area or if they have online courses. Uh, please do so. So again, Coach Jeremy's joining us here in a few seconds. We're hoping that he... Uh, you, uh, if you are joining us, uh, Jeremy, and you can hear me, you simply have to request access uh, to the conversation. And I'll give you access and we'll get you in. So again, thank you, Sway Medical, for being a great sponsor, and thank you to um, Team X for being a great sponsor as well. We truly do appreciate the support that you give us here on Performance Talk, and we're very much looking forward to speaking with Jeremy this evening, Coach Jeremy, and finding a little bit about him and what he does and how he runs his programs, and it's going to be very, very fun, so we're looking forward to it. Again, my name is Sean Sweeney from S&J Lessons and the host of Performance Talk, and we truly do appreciate the time you're going to spend with us whenever you do watch this video. We do uh, really appreciate the time you spend with us, and we hope always, like always, that you get the opportunity to um, to, to meet and, and leverage our coaches' information and what they're doing, and hook up with them, and, and be able to uh, communicate long-term, so it's pretty awesome. Hey, Jeremy, if you can hear me, if, if you're on your phone or iPad, you'll be able to request information. If you're on a laptop, you have no chance to request information, uh, to get in, okay? So it's a phone, phone or... Um, Phone or iPad, excuse me. And there should be a little like picture in picture. Uh, we did this last time with Coach. Uh... Hey, Jeremy's calling me. Hey, buddy. So you can hear me. Yeah, that's it's a nice delayed reaction. I like that. Jeremy, can you hear me?
So Jeremy's just having a second to get in here. So he's got to get him off the laptop. Phone or iPad, buddy. Phone or, sorry, I'm just on my phone here with you. So your phone or iPad, and you should be able to request to get in. Yep, all my settings are good to go. So once you get on a phone or, or an iPad, uh, you'll be able to request to get in, and we'll get you on, my friend. And just give us a second. I'm just checking here to make sure we get him. And again, thanks, Sway Medical, and thanks, Team X, for sponsoring us. We're just trying to get Coach Jeremy on the call here right now and make sure that he can get in. And everything should be good. Hopefully, he requests here shortly. He probably just has to switch off his iPad. Or, excuse me, off his laptop. And Jeremy's just texting me now, so we'll go from there. And you want a phone? Hey, buddy, can you hear me? Hey, you still have to, you still have to go in on the, on the you're you're not on the live session. What's that? You're not on the live session. Yeah, I don't know how to do that. Like I said, are you on a laptop? I'm on my phone right now. I, I was on the laptop until you said that. I there should be a picture and picture on your phone, and just click on it and request. Um, it gets you a request. Like you see a little little man and a little picture and picture emblem or something like that. <laughs> anything that would remotely look like something that would request something to you. So it looks like a little man, a little, and then a little man in a frame. Um, it's usually in the bottom right or bottom left of the screen, depending on the apparatus, the device. So right now I'm on. Um, I'm on our our messages on Facebook. Is that where I'm supposed to be? No, right on the live stream on your on your phone. Okay, should I go to Facebook or should I go to the Facebook Messenger? No, you go to Facebook S and J Lessons. Okay, all right, let me try it. So, uh, but you're in there. Like, I see someone. Like, there's either it's you or someone else is watching so far, but I can't tell. It didn't tell us who they are. Right. Um, probably me watching. Yeah. So, yeah, if you're on S and J Lessons, you should on your phone. You should find find a little man. Within the. Yeah. Yeah, you should see the live stream, right? Let me see if I can find the... Oh, I see you now. Okay. And then you should be able to find the little man and man on your phone and then request access to get in. Is it, where do I find little man at the bottom? Yeah, usually. Okay, I see something at the bottom of the screen. Click on it. Um, I'm looking for anything. <laughs> It usually pops up right on your screen. Like, it doesn't pop up, but you see it. It's a little man with a circle around it. Try that. Yeah, I clicked it. It just took me to my um, profile here. Uh, okay, no, on, on the screen, it's like a little, little, it's like a little, little half body with a little circle head. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what I clicked on. Really, yeah. Because it, it should that was it should just request you. That should give you permission to get into my site. Hmm. Let me try going back. Can we do it? I do it this way because what it does is it just keeps. Um, I can edit afterwards if I want to, right? And then before I give it to you. So. Um. Oh, here we go. I got it. I had. I got it. I had Perfect. To, there you go. Which one was it? Um, I don't know. I'd have to go back and see how I did that. <laughs> okay. Kind of, kind of oh. That's it. Okay, I'm going to hang up on Messenger here. All right. All right. See you, Thank buddy. you. Sorry. Yeah. I, I, I told you. It's, it might... it's all good. Did you, did you just shut off your volume? Can you hear me? You were good a second ago. Did you just lose your volume? 
Yes, no, maybe. I can't hear you. Can you hear me? We can chat. Can you hear me? Hmm. There you are. It tells you you're coming oh, back now. Oh, there you are. Yeah, yeah. I don't we lost know you for a second. I don't know. Okay, okay. All right. Where are you? What I state? Am, like, where do I live or where, where yeah. am I doing this? Yeah, yeah. I, what? I am in Alexandria, Virginia. Nice. Welcome. We, we've yeah, got you in. You. We're live. We're ready to go. I appreciate the. Go ahead. Nice. So it's really nice to have you online. Uh, I, I see you. Uh, we haven't met, just so anybody's listening. I've already thanked my sponsors, so we're good to go. Um, okay, and awesome. Jeremy and I have not met face to face yet, so this is very nice to meet you. And, and what we try and do, Jeremy, is, is I didn't get a chance at the beginning because we were, um, you know, trying to get you online here. Um, but yeah. generally, what I like to do is kind of give you everybody an overview of who you are and what you're doing and um, what your passions are about the sport around about well, you, you specifically tennis. Um, so. Maybe you could help us out and just kind of give us a brief overview of kind of your 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 passion, what you're doing, where you're working, who yeah. you're working with. Kind of give us an overview. Is that okay? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so my biggest passion, I mean, passion is a massive understatement. You know, you've probably seen all the comments that I've posted on this Facebook group. So I'm always commenting and I'm trying to share yep. knowledge and I love learning new things um you know, so I, I love teaching tennis of course i really enjoy teaching doubles more than anything i love teaching technique um i would say that i'm it's also what i'm best at teaching i think because uh, i study it all the time um especially yeah. technique biomechanics um you know i'm not the best at biomechanics but yeah i, I can kind of look at a stroke and you know, I figure out what they need to work on. Um, yeah. Just with my own language, you know, I, I never really <laughs> had anyone teach me how to teach. Um, okay. Aside from my mom. So a lot of, yeah. a lot was she of a tennis what, player? Yeah. It runs in my, yeah. in my family. Um, my mom teaches tennis. Uh, my grandfather used to teach. He taught my mom and my uncle. And my uncle okay. was a pro professional for a bit. Um, he actually beat Pete Sampras 6 0 6 0 twice. Bag <laughs> double bageled him twice. However, yeah. I don't tell people that that was when they were like 13, but I think it's still a cool that, story. That all counts. That counts at 13. Yeah. That's legal. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, so, um, so it runs in my family. Uh, my, my uncle, my, um, my mother was. Uh, one of the best doubles teams in college in the country. And, uh, yeah, so I, you know, I, I played tennis, I guess to give you a bit of background on my playing career, I played tennis um, all the time from maybe eight years old to 12 years old. And I compete in some national tournaments and I beat several players who, who are now on the pro tour, mm -hmm. um, which kind of made me regret stopping playing competitively when I was yeah. about 13 years old. I, I haven't played tennis um, year round, like consistently yeah. or competitively um, since I was like 13. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah. I, once in a while I'll play in a tennis tournament or, or a match for, for my, um, for my club. Yeah. Um, we had these British Marine guys come in the, a couple of weeks ago and I played a guy who, Turns out he used to be a professional, and he's like my age. He's in his twenties. So he's really good. Okay. He kicked. He kicked my butt. I was. I was. Um, <laughs> I couldn't. I couldn't believe how how nervous I was, and it really wasn't. We had a lot of people there watching. I don't know about a lot of people, but it like. 20, this was at your club. Yeah. Yeah. It was my club. I work at a country club. Yeah. Um, so we get uh, you know some people love tennis some people just want to get exercise and anyway um i don't know kind of rambling on about random stuff it, that's okay anything else you'd like to know well do you get to do a lot of work with uh, juniors 
Yeah, I work with um, I work with probably sixty percent juniors and forty percent adults. Depends on the season. Like right now, I have my ladies team season. I'm in charge of two ladies. We've got nine teams. I have uh, I have um, you know what? Get these. He just froze on me, Jeremy. Not sure why. Hmm. Well, we apologize, ladies and gentlemen. We just lost Jeremy for some reason. He just froze up on the other end. Let's we'll see if he comes back. We'll give him a second. We'll give him a second to do so. Anyways, I wanted to, once again, while well, well, Jeremy's trying to get for sponsoring the performance talk uh they've done all the shows for us they've been uh involved with the the three uh, co great coaches that we've had in so far and i'd also like to thank team x uh they've been amazing at sponsoring every program that we've done it's been awesome so we'll just wait and see if jeremy gets back in here and uh we'll take him back on we got uh, some great questions to ask of him uh he works at a club down in virginia he is uh i've seen him online we met online in a bunch of the coaching sessions or, or talking uh, sites, and um, he always has some great content that he puts forth and shares uh, with everybody. We just lost him, so I apologize that we lost him. Uh, hopefully he can get back in, uh, but he's always quite sharp with his comments, and I do like what he has to say when he does answer, and he's very detailed in his answers, a uh, very sharp young man. So I brought him on the show this evening to hopefully share uh, some great information with you, and, and, you know, it's always nice to hear from uh, all kinds of different coaches, and so as we had last time, we had Coach Moore, and before that, we had Coach Lewitt. Uh, so it's, hey, can you it's hear always me? Great. Okay, yeah, you're back in now. All right, I don't know what happened. I'm sorry. That's okay. That's okay. I was just uh, I was I was pulling all my sponsor stuff again, so we're good. No worries. Love to have right. you. Anyways, listen. Uh, Hopefully, there's no more technical difficulties. I apologize to everyone watching. That was. Uh, don't mean to waste your time. No, no. There. You know what? It, but I'm sure you. I'm sure you had some good words while I was gone. I, I, I was listening to you when I was trying to figure out this whole thing, and you know, you seem like you could have gone for hours without me. No, no. I, you had a lot I, I want, to talk I want about. you here, my friend, because you're you're the important one. I was just <clears> saying. I was saying. You know, uh, we met online, and I love I love your answers when when there's questions in the groups that we're in and that we share together and you're yeah. always very detailed and, and you know even the material that you put out i review it i watch it i go through everything and you put out some great you know you're a young man and you put out some great information already so kudos to you for all the studying that you've done because uh, you mentioned you didn't really have a yeah mentor, thank you great job i really so i'm very appreciative of what you're putting out as well so thank you um yeah I, thank you I, I did uh you know with everybody i always ask them you know i have about 12 questions i kind of put out to everybody and you know i'll pick three or four for mm -hmm. each show and and, uh, you know, I, I kind of gave you a few samples of what I wanted to talk about this evening. But one of, yeah. one of the things I always ask everybody, it's, it's common, is, is, you know, what, what's the, the biggest investment you've made as a tennis coach for yourself? Like, what do you think that investment is? Um, biggest investment. Wow. Um, I have, I have a, there's a lot. I probably would, I probably would say, um, just going to the tennis conferences around me. Mm -hmm. I'm in the D.C. area, so anytime there's one that's less than a couple hours away, I'll I'll drive to it, and I, I love to network, and I ask a million questions. Um, even if I know the answer to the okay. question, I'll ask the question because I want to hear someone else's opinion yes. on it. Um, I, I feel like um, I, I or any pro can learn from just about any pro. Um, you know, there's just so many ways to teach the same thing, whether it's technique or strategy. So, uh, but I went to a world tennis conference in 2016. I thought that was really fun. Mm -hmm. um, basically, you know, you get to talk with everyone who does the yeah. same thing, kind of thing that you do. You know, people, aside from my coworkers, they, they the people I, I, I work with, um, you know, my students, they, they're not at the same, um, knowledgeable level as as i am because they don't teach tennis yeah. so it's fun to it's fun to work with other people that teach and i just love um learning new things i think that's why i'm like borderline obsessive with with trying to learn new things and, and studying yeah. because um the more i know 
kind of the more I know, the more I don't know, but also <laughs> the more I know, the more I can help my students. Yeah. And the more I can help my students improve, the more I enjoy teaching. So it's like the more I know, the more I enjoy teaching. So that's why I'm always trying to absorb everything like a sponge. I ask lots of questions. And it, bec so. it becomes addictive as they, you start seeing them get better. Yeah, so pushes you yeah. I am definitely addicted to tennis. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, and so, uh, you know what? It's four for four because this is our fourth episode. And it's four for four. Everybody has said education. So it must be that it's a common parallel. Now, you know, Chris Lewis, he, he, he yeah. happened to fly over to Spain to get his education. But that, that's, you know, but he, again, same idea was, yeah. you know, I went to Atlanta. I, did uh, you, go ahead. Did you, did you do this with Chris yeah, Lewis? Yeah. Yeah, 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 it was good. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. So yeah. He's cool. I, I watched a couple of his, his lessons. He's got some good oh, stuff. Oh, absolutely. And even that, I like his personality. He's funny about his, uh, what has he got? Those protein bars. <laughs> what are they called? <laughs> oh, Cliff that's bars. It, yeah. He's really funny about that stuff. No. He, it, it's fun to watch that because because it reminds me a lot of of me and my yeah. teaching. You know, it's like yeah, other other pros go through this <laughs> stuff too. You know, but tell the tell the kid the same thing over and over again. They have trouble yep. doing it. You know, I, I have that too. Well, when they can teach you, um, that's when you know they've got it. You know what I mean? When they can yeah. teach you, you retain ninety nine percent of what you can teach exactly, back. Exactly. You know, absolutely. <clears throat> when they can teach you, we've got them. Um, you, you know, yeah. uh, the, the other thing, too, is uh, I love sharing this question with people, and, and uh, I hope you have the opportunity to review it. You know, I always ask people, to get, it allows people to get to know you a little bit better, especially as we share this out. And, yeah. and I always ask, you know, um, Jeremy, if you could put a billboard anywhere in the world and have, you know, a million people or a billion people see a message from you, what would that, what would that, yeah. what would that yeah. message be? I found that to be the most difficult question that you gave me. <laughs> but um, after thinking about it off and on in between lessons for several hours today, I, um, it hit me when I wasn't trying to think about it, which is what I figured yeah. would happen. Uh, it is the I, – I assume it has to do with tennis, and it's kind of – It's a up to you. It's yeah. a, so it's a motivational quote that I made up. I'm sure someone else has made it up along the way. Um, and I think it's good for anything in life. Kind of. So it goes like this. It's just simply the only ball you can't get is the ball you think you can't get. Oh, yeah. I love it. I love it. So I don't know. That's great. That's um, that's my... Uh, I don't know. I made it up. That's my Jeremyism, I guess. I use it sometimes. <laughs> but it's great. You know what I mean? And it, that, tra that transfers in life, too. You know what I mean? You know, the only job yeah. you can't get is the one you think you can't get. You know what I mean? It's the same idea. I think that I think the most frustrated I get is when um, I'm thinking of the, when the, some player calls the ball out or they, they hope it goes out and it ends up dropping yeah. in. Mindset is really big to me. Um, when somebody doesn't run for a ball because they thought it was going in the net, I hear that almost every day. Um, you know, I'm not working with high performance okay. players for the most yeah. part. So I hear things like that, or I didn't think I could get that. <clears throat> that boils me, mainly with the kids. I can't really get upset with the adults. It is a country club yeah. setting. So, <laughs> um, yeah, you, you could get a little upset, yeah. but job's gone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that's funny because I've only ever worked with um, – well, I shouldn't say that. I, I've, always, I've had recreational kids, but even their mindset, even the recreational kids, they, to work with us, they had to have the mindset of being a champion. So I love yeah. talking to people who work with the, the teams and the recreational uh, level players because it's a whole different – I find it's a whole different mechanism or way of teaching. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Because you talk yeah. about mindset. Well, we, we actually work – I don't know about what you're doing, but we actually have to work with the kids – you know, they're doing mindfulness training. They're doing breath awareness training. They're mm -hmm. doing all that stuff. You're not yeah. going to get a recreational player to do that for the most part. Right? Is that, yeah. You know no what I mean? So, so when you talk about mindset with the athlete, what are you doing to overcome their, I'm not going to get that ball. I thought I was going to hit the net. What are you doing? And the thing or is just like, well, oh. um, mindset wise, um, I think it's, the most important thing in, in tennis and in life and in most cases is confidence. Mm -hmm. So I just try to tell them, you know, their greatest attributes, you know, even someone who's not particularly incredibly talented or, or, you know, I, 
I just like, look, your forehand is amazing. Mm -hmm. You know, they might not have anything else, but your forehand is yeah. amazing. You can get to any ball with that forehand. So I try to look at look at the positive. You know, there's obviously a lot of people um, that just kind of see everything. Uh, they find the negative in you. If you try really hard, you can find the negative in just about yeah. anything. But I think in the same way, if you try really hard, you will find a positive in anything. I mean, literally the worst thing you can yeah. imagine. There's going to be something positive out of it. Um, anyway, I don't know if I answered well, that I, question. I, how, how, are you, how are you working with the adults like that or the recreational players? So your, your teams, because you're going to have, you know, teams are going to get disappointed. Their mom's going to get disappointed or someone's going to get disappointed on a particular team. How are you working that group dynamic and mindset? Is, is, is it strictly working on the confidence side? So, hey, Mary, great forehand stick. You know what I mean? The... Yeah, I mean, I, I think a lot of it is is about um, – awareness of, of, you know, I think a lot of people aren't aware when they have negative yeah. thoughts. I know that I often, if I have a negative thought, I, I'm not good at noticing it, but when I notice it, I'm like, all right, you know, if you can, you can just visualize something positive, even when you're negative and you're totally down and that's going to help you. Even if, even if you have no confidence at all, just visualizing something positive is is gonna I, my experience and my yeah. students experience helps but when it comes to my students i talk a, a lot about you know what what i read and what i study when i when i study the mental game which is what everyone's heard if you try studying something at some point it, you'll read in like every article it's about staying present yeah. it's about focusing on your you know your strategy things you can control the only thing you can control is 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 your your um attitude and your yeah. effort i can't think of anything else you can control you can't control how well you play if people tell me oh, i just want to play well <laughs> and if, if you think about it you know at least for me and i and my students whom i've asked this question they've said the same like how many times do you play your absolute best usually you play a match you're not going to play your That's absolute right. best in my case, the last few times I've played a match, I've played extremely bad. So, yeah. you know, it's it's. Uh, I think maybe it, maybe it was it Billie Jean King said this. Um, a winner is not someone who who wins when they play well. It's someone who doesn't play well and there's a lot of adversity and they still find a way to win. Like look at look at Federer. It seems like he the times he doesn't play well, he's finds a way to scrap win. it out. Um, so I'm really big on, I'm really big on also just getting the player, distract the player. You have to distract them with something and it needs to be, you know, the process, their performance. Yeah. They got to focus on where are they going to hit their serve? This, you know, um, and it's just about figuring out what helps you as an individual. Cause everybody's That's different. Right. You know, like I, I like absolute silence before my match. You mean uh, you know, you're, you're want... off by yourself? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't want to be around. I don't want anybody telling me, you know, anything at all. And it's just, it's just about some people like to listen to music. Some people, we talk about in between points. You know, I, I saw a stat a long time ago. It was like 75% of uh, matches are in between the rallies. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's going to tell you how mental tennis is and, and you know, all sports are yeah. like that and anything you do in life, really. Yeah. But um, that's my best answer. That's pretty that. good. What do you, you give me these mental toughness yeah. questions. These are the toughest questions you could uh, give me. I thought I, you did I, a great I know, job. I got, I got my own mental toughness problem. <laughs> so I, sometimes I tell my students, do as I say and not as I do. Are, yeah, are you uh, <clears throat> a little racket thrower on the court or you control? You have to be controlled the country club. Yeah. yeah, I I really wanted to scream and curse yeah. in that match when a bunch of my members came yeah, to watch. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, they are crazy. They are crazy. They're banging on the window. It's funny. The very first point of the match, I um, hit a half volley lob tweener, <laughs> and then the opponent hit a tweener, yeah. but he barely missed it. Yeah. I would have been so pissed if that we ball got it. in. 
What What are you doing as far as um, r- r- routine? So you know you're not dealing, always dealing with the high performance. Are you Are you working on routines at all with the women? Or um, in between points, what are they doing? Or you kind of just leave them be and see how they react? You know, I don't do as much of uh, rituals as I should, but I always have every player bounce the ball. Okay. Even if it's a six-year-old, I have them bounce the ball. Okay. And then I tell them the reason you bounce the ball is the same reason you bounce the ball in basketball when, right before you do a free throw. Mm-hmm. So a lot of the kids that played basketball, they've seen basketball, yeah. so they can, like, oh, okay, it makes more sense since other sports do it. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. to me, it's a time to visualize, you know, <clears throat> basketball, visualize getting the ball in the bucket, yeah. tennis, visualize hitting the serve exactly where you aimed yeah. it. Um, a lot of people visualize choking. Mm-hmm. I mean, I could we got, go we on gotta forever throw that one about. Out. Okay, we got to yeah. throw that one out. You know what I mean? No, no visualizing choking. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. I always wonder because you know what? I don't get to teach, or I, I never got a chance to teach in the in the group environment for the team. So I was always wondering how people dealt with, mm-hmm. you know, uh, you know, the, the mindfulness with that. Uh, how they deal with, how, how yeah. they deal with routines. But you know, you're you're, you're U.S. I'm from Canada, so your U.S. your mm-hmm. SU, your USTA leagues get pretty competitive. You know, those, yeah, those two, they, fi- those the two ladies, fires are going to you know, kick each other out. <laughs> you, th- you think that this country club stuff is not competitive. It's really yeah. competitive. It might be a different type of competitive. I mean, it's like I want to play. I don't want to play with this person. You know, I, you know, I can't, you know, I want to play line yeah. one. It gets, it gets pretty dramatic, sure. especially for the tennis pros. It's definitely by far the toughest part of my job. But going back to the ritual, um, you know, I'm, I'm thinking back to when I'm, playing tennis maybe once every two weeks once yeah, a yeah. month with one of my coworkers, and we'll play a set or something and um i find myself rocking as the returner yeah. and you've seen the, yeah. several pros do that i'm sure or i'll fix my shirt like this uh also my shorts i i, I like to get my shorts high on my yeah. legs it's what just you weird do. random things like yeah. that it's just to feel things so that's what i do um I, it kind of reminds me of like if you were to wake up in the morning and say that you had to take away something that you do every morning, like you know, brush your teeth. If you didn't brush your teeth, you you would feel lost, mentally not as yeah. ready for your day. Yeah. So I think a routine is to visualize. A routine is to distract. Um, and a routine, you know, especially routines like looking at your strings or bouncing the ball, is to get you to. You know, have tunnel vision. Yeah. That's something that I feel I've been really good with in my career. Um, sound like I was on pro tour yeah. or something. <laughs> <laughs> but, but even when I play problems. matches, yeah. I have very, yeah. I have very good tunnel vision, um, and it, and it's and it's helpful. Like when you look at your strings and stuff, you need the tunnel vision. You can't be looking, you can't be looking at who's watching or you know, is the coach watching? What are they going to think? Everything I everything's easier said than done, of course. Of course, but. that's why the, that's why the best are always practicing that television. You're bang on. You're yeah. Bang on. Um, uh, just switching gears a little bit, and so that you know, I would always like to know. Um, I I always recommend books to my. I won't tell you which one yet, but I always recommend a book to my parents to read before they come in and join with me. Uh, do you have yeah. any books or videos or tapes or something that you suggest a parent or player takes a look at? Oh before they come yeah. Look at you yeah. You know what? It's funny. I, I've never been big into books when I was a kid or even now, but I will read anything about tennis. I actually, I do have a book. Uh, where is it? I'm a big fan of Louis Caillet's work, oh, yeah. especially his doubles, doubles work. work. Yeah. So I have doubles tennis tactics yeah. and I'm on uh, page five. <laughs> so there's that. I, I really enjoy looking at um tennis websites yeah. i'm a big fan of tennisplayer.net they have literally thousands of articles and i've read literally every yeah. one of them if you can yeah, believe can. it um and then i really like this is an interesting name it's called fuzzyyellowballs.com yeah. they have great content on there as well uh, you can find stuff from mental toughness to strategy to technique to to you know footwork drills specifically for tennis or or, or things that you can do in the weight room that specifically help you for yeah. tennis things um 
So is that what you're recommending? Or what, what, are, you, what are you saying to a parent? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, okay. Cool. I, I know all the best, uh, you know, YouTube tennis guys yeah. and early, you know, it's my opinion. Of course, of course yeah, yeah. But, but it counts. Tennisplayer.net, Fuzzy Yellow Balls, um, Tennis Eye Coach, I believe that's the name of it. That's fantastic. Um, From the ITF Eye Coach? All the good stuff you have to pay for, but some stuff is worth is worth it. Um, you had another question, which I'm kind of about to answer. You can go ahead. I wrote it down here. Oh, you said you talking about my best purchase under under a hundred dollars. I don't know. That's that's hard. But I, I the first thing that come to mind when I saw that was um, the tennis summit okay. with the Mirbani Ranshan. Yeah. Hope I said that right. <laughs> um, Why I've never met Mirbon. I exchanged a couple messages in the past as part of you know CTC. I think, but um, my buddy Faisal. Faisal Hassan, I believe that's how you say his last name. He's got great stuff on Tennis Summit about the volley. Um, then you got uh, Alistair McCaw, who's fantastic about the mental mental game. I first uh, met him at a world conference, and I was really um, um, motivated yeah. to learn about the mental game after that. Uh, and you got uh, Ian Westerman is really good. He he was on the tennis summit. He's also uh, as good as as anyone with the tennis YouTube channel. Um, and then um, um, uh, Jeff Salzenstein on there. Jeff, He's got great yeah. stuff. And then Jeff Jeff Greenwald is outstanding for mental toughness as Very well. Cool. He's on there. So um, I think that's the uh, best thing. I, it's going on. I think it's like ending now or. Yeah, just I yesterday. Think it's finished. But, yeah, yeah no, it's, it's like I've seen probably eighty percent of their videos nice. already. I stay up until like four in the morning watching. That's it. awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, that's the most important thing in anything you're passionate about. Um, if you want to succeed in something, is just the motivation. I think that's how it is for me. That, yeah, you know what? I know. I know for myself personally, I'll be up to like four o'clock in the morning, like you, just like watching videos, like just studying. I mean, same yeah. idea. Learning from other people. Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, the the uh, you know we get to spend a lot of time around other coaches, or at least you know I hope we we do. And um, there's some funny things though we do hear from other coaches saying, "What's the funniest thing or the worst piece of advice you've ever heard given?" From a tennis coach, uh, it could, it could oh, be wow. from a parent, but I mean, usually, yeah, just you know, you're you're, you're listening you're listening to a lesson beside you, and you're something like what? <laughs> uh, I'll give, boy, I'll give you an example. Tough. I had one guy say, "Run across and fake your forehand." Fake your fake forehand. Your, I'm just telling you what the guy said. I'm t- I almost died. Like, I mean, I'm like what? <laughs> he probably means like fake your coach know. or something. No, 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 no. He was at the baseline. Yeah. I don't understand. I don't even understand that. That's how funny exactly. it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fake your fake your forehand. Um, fake your back. I hear coaches say, "You know what drives me nuts?" Uh, mainly because I had so many arguments on CTC competitive tennis coaches. That West Fuller is fantastic. The questions he comes up with is there's so many members on there there's a lot of good content yes. i've learned some things there um I, I lose my train of thought um oh i've gotten to several um i probably would say arguments <laughs> about people say that you're supposed to hit the ball at the top of the toss mm-hmm. and i'm like okay well first thing i say is what level are we talking mm-hmm. about and if they say beginners, then I can see that being acceptable. They shouldn't be using their legs, in my opinion. Chris Lewitt will argue yeah. with that. Uh, <laughs> you see this stuff. He, yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't say he's wrong, yeah. but uh, that's a whole nother. That's a whole nother ball game. Anyway, um, if you look at the pros, there's not one pro in the world who literally hits the ball when it's still at the top of the toss. The ball generally. I would say definitely most pros always let the ball drop at least 10 inches. It's often one to three feet, actually. Talking about the men's yeah. side, the women, it's like three to 27 yeah. feet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, um, it's, it's, yeah, I think it's between, 12 to between uh, you know, somewhere between six to 18 inches it drops. Yeah, and I'm not sure how much more you want to hear about this, but the issue with hitting the ball at the top of the toss 
is it completely messes up the timing and rhythm, the synchronization of the lower body and the upper body, specifically the leg drive and the racket drop, you know, when the racket goes yep. from trophy to down the back. If you hit the ball at the top of the toss, you have to start bending your knees very early. You have to start bending your knees before you release the yep. ball, which is what Dolgopolov does, and it's what Sam Groth yep. does. It works for them, but you won't see many pros the, do it. The timing is so unbelievable. Um, you, it's unbelievable what he does. Yeah. So hitting at the top of the toss yep. is fine if they're not going to use their yep. legs. And this is coming from somebody – I'd have to look at my serve, but I can't, I can't imagine I, I let it drop more than five, six yeah. inches. I, I hit the ball. I mean, I'm like, ba-boom. Yeah. It's quick. I'm like almost dog off a lot <laughs> fast, largely because I don't use my legs yeah. enough and I rely too much on my arm. Um, anyway, that and the whole snapping the wrist and the serve and the overhead drives me nuts. Hopefully you don't believe those things. Otherwise, you're going to be like, what do this you mean? It's not for me. It's for the but audience. If you – look, if you take, if you take your arm – Talking about the serve or the overhead, and you swing like this, there's going to be some flexion, some wrist flexion on its own. You don't need to tell somebody to snap the wrist. Now, it's especially an issue on the serve. They're trying to get the long axis rotation, which means the, the forearm pronates and the uh, hitting shoulder internally. Internal rotates. rotation. This, this is 40% of power according to – I uh I can't remember probably now. Flor Somebody. Probably Florian. It's been a single day. Hey, probably Mayor. Florian um, Mayer is like, yeah, I do it for my – Florian yeah, Meyer, is that you yeah, said? Yeah, from my knees. Because external to internal rotation. Yeah, he's so, the guy who served 91 miles an hour from his yeah. knees. I think I could – I think I could do – I think I could do that from my knees. I don't know. Certainly from standing. I don't know about from my knees. Um, but snapping the wrist is going to get people to not get that long axis rotation. Yeah, they're just going to snap the wrist. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's just like, what do you mean snap the wrist? The ball is on the strings for about three to six milliseconds. Yeah. What is this? This is going to help you get it to not go out? Or, I don't know. Yeah. Um, but one one thing I do, it, you know, with my um, my tennis face my tennis Facebook group, yeah. our Facebook. I was going to say my my YouTube channel, yeah. so we could talk about that later. But I only talk about things that I know about you know like i'm 100 percent sure. sure or i mean it's not backed by science but in my yeah. mind you know um that way i don't look like an idiot you know but it's true <laughs> Talk about Listen, things there's that I, I know for me it, it, there's not a thing i won't show a kid that's not validated like you 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 can like, like you, you what did you say I didn't there, there's that. not a thing that i won't show a player that you cannot go home and validate yeah. so you, you saw you saw yeah. my stuff yeah. even in, in, in the in the in the facebook group like if i say something i generally yeah. put a photo with it Right or a video. Yeah, right? yeah. That way, it's not me. It's not you making it up. Yeah. It's what's being done. Yeah. Right. It's we're not bull crapping. Here's what's happening. You know what I mean? Indeed. There's a couple times where I started to type something in response. I was like, no, I don't want to get into this with person. I had enough arguments with people. <laughs> and generally, in my experience, um, tennis pros, myself and well, I don't know if I'd say myself included. I'm 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 typically like an open book. Yeah. I'm willing to believe anything unless i know it's not yeah. right or i mean as uh as mike barrel once said i don't know if you've heard with him no. say don't believe don't believe a word that i say just try it don't believe anything i yeah. say just try, try it. it try it you go know? do it so i always i always try go it. do it you you talk you, I, um, you talked about i want to give it i want to give a chance for you because what we do with this uh jeremy is we, we take these videos now and now um i i now publish them and i pay for them to get out there and we, we get anywhere between 10 to twenty thousand views um, it's kind of our goal. Holy cow. Yeah, that's kind of our goal. I would have fixed my <laughs> hair a little better had I known. <laughs> well, that's the goal, right? But you, you, you obviously have a, a YouTube channel and a, and a Facebook group. Um, can you talk a little bit about uh, what you want people to come see about you and, and where you'd like them to go and get information about you? And, and you know, especially because I'll target the, yeah. your area. Yeah. So I, I started the, my tennis YouTube channel. Um, maybe November, I'm not sure, of last yeah. year. So it's fairly recent. I have uh, close to 350 subscribers. I have a couple of videos where I have one and a half thousand followers somehow. Yeah. <laughs> um, I try to make my videos shorter. They're so darn long. I got to shut up. I talk too darn much. I'm sure I'm talking too much. Oh, that's awesome. I'm sure I'm talking too much in I this. I love it. But um, 
I just wanted to get my knowledge out there and I wanted to help people. Mm -hmm. So part of it is I want people to know what I know. I want people to to take me seriously when I talk about tennis. They, oh yeah, he, he knows he's talking about, hopefully. Yeah. Um, and then I, I, I really like helping people with their tennis game. And I just felt like everything I saw on YouTube, um, I could do, I could have the content and knowledge that they have yeah. or better for the most part. Yeah. Um, I never would imagine that I, that I would be doing a, uh, in front of a camera like that every Saturday as I do, because um, I've never been in front of a camera in my life, really, aside from pictures. Yeah, but you did a good I've job. I've always been super, <laughs> I've always been, thank you. Yeah. The first few videos I'm, I could, you, I went back and I was like, holy cow, I look so much less comfortable back then. <laughs> so I, so I, like, I've, I've struggled with um, extreme anxiety my whole life or since I was maybe 10 years old. So I never could see myself doing videos, yeah. but I made myself do That's it. That's awesome. And I'm doing, and you know, I talk about doubles. I talk about technique. I do a lot of technique because that's what everybody wants to see, it seems. Yeah. Um, so I, you know, I, I just want to, I want to get, I want to be able to reach out to as many people as possible and help them with their game. And, um, Oh, that's about that's it. Awesome. I, so where I, do they I find don't it? enjoy. Where do they find it? Where, where, where can? Because we'll put in the we'll put in the comments below. Yeah, that'd be helpful if I said yeah, yeah. that, right? Well, I'm gonna put um, the comments. It's too. called. Yeah, it's called fundamental tennis. Awesome. Um, Just grabbing. Although, if you type that in, yeah. you'll only get like two videos that'll pop up for me. Okay. So I'm not famous just yet. <laughs> so. Uh, you, you would you would have to type in my first and last name to get the whole thing. Okay, so to, okay, I got that. To get uh, all my videos, but and it's a, fundamental test. You might have to scroll for a while. So Jeremy and uh, Jeremy, forgive my ignorance, but is it is it Malfe? The last name. Malfe. Yeah. Okay, Malfe. M. Yeah. Yeah. M A L F is in Frank A I T. Yeah, perfect. It's French. I know. It means. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm from, let's hey, not tell everybody. I'm from, well, <laughs> I don't care, I'm from Ottawa, Canada. We have to speak French. That's why I'm Yeah, so that's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. my last name means badly done as far as I know <laughs> in, in French. So, um, so, so, uh, so they go. That's to, an interesting name. She is, I don't know. They, they type in Jeremy Malfay and then they go to where? They'll find you there? Can you hear me? Back. Oh, good. And then, and then that's the YouTube channel. Yeah, right. fundamental tennis. Type in my first and last name, you'll see that. Okay, fundamental tennis. And the the thing is, you know, I told I told my ladies a couple. Uh, I told my ladies team this. I said, you know, I I go more than the extra mile for the. Can you hear yep, me? Yep, okay? they're great. I go more than the extra mile for them, and it—it's not just because I care; it's just I really love what yeah. I do. And when people actually, you know, meet me halfway and really try to improve whatever the case is that they're working on, um, then I really, really enjoy that. But you know, I'm—I'm uh, I'm sleeping, breathing, and whatever. eating tennis. Everything tennis. That's awesome. I need, I need to go out more. I, too, much my, I get too much with my nose in the books. I need to have more fun. Well, maybe eventually. But that, that this but, sounds awesome. Uh, and so the YouTube channel, anything else? Any, where else can people get a hold of you if they want to take lessons or meet up? Or can they? Because you're, you're at a private club. Um, well, country club, they mainly only the members, right? Members. Yeah. So, so I guess. Unless it's like really dead, which is really only in August or nobody's yeah. around. Um, what in my email? I don't no, know. no, it's okay. I wouldn't. I wouldn't put that in here, but I'll, I'll definitely put the yeah. yeah. And then, um, anywhere else they should follow you, or is that that's it? I mean, I got an Instagram, but I don't really nah, use it. Maybe yeah, you're using it. Just, I just, I just want to make sure people can find you and see, check out your stuff, and and comment, and and. I'm on Facebook. Okay. Yeah, I'm on Facebook all the time. Okay. With um. You know, looking at main really solely just for the tennis Facebook group. But that's for you, yeah. That's for you, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. So cool. Yeah. So the YouTube channel is the big one where I want to send them to for you. Yeah, everything's there. I mean, yeah, just give me a comment. Perfect. Tell me what you want to see in a future video or perfect. You know, if you need clarity on something I talked to in the video, I I do feel that um, I I talk in my videos very clear and simple. Mm -hmm. I try. I um, at least that's what people yeah. say. So that's awesome. Yeah. You know, if you don't know what the heck people are talking about on yeah. YouTube, try to look at Find stuff, and I think that, that's awesome. I think that, you know, and if you don't get it, I guarantee I can help you understand if you ask. Yeah. So you, you answer all the comments you, you, if somebody's asking anything, you're in there answering. Yeah. I always, I always answer within 24 Perfect. hours. Perfect. Yeah. And a video a week kind of thing. Yeah, I do one video every week awesome. do it saturday i'm i'm i start the video around 7 p.m which is an hour before we yeah. close at my country yeah. club that's where i do it um and then i'm typically done between 1 and 4 a.m oh my <laughs> lord that's awesome Damn. yeah so it's not live you're taping yeah <laughs> oh my god yeah, you're taping it's because i i have such ocd yeah. i'm such a perfectionist yeah. that the video has to be as good as possible, but also because I just screw up so many times, it's annoying. <laughs> I just screw Cash. up. Like sometimes, sometimes I feel like I should keep my screw ups and put them. You in should the do a blooper reel, and and people would absolutely yeah. love that. I know people would because I would yeah. laugh at. You want to put your? It's hard to laugh though because it's myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <clears throat> but you get a chance once in a while. Put a blooper reel and keep all your bloopers. It'd be fun to watch. Yeah, you know, It'd yeah, be fun to watch. Because we just yeah. make mistakes, especially trying to, you know, it's not you couldn't teach it. It's, it's, it's also now you're on film and it's a little different story, right? Mm -hmm. You know, you're trying to be you're yeah. trying to be perfect. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's funny. Yeah. So listen, everything I do that I care about, I'm definitely a more than perfectionist. Yeah. It's definitely OCD. That's very cool. Hey, listen, which is really good. And it's great. And not so good. Yeah, I, I think it's great because you're going to you know, you're going to go to the nth degree to give us the proper information. Right. That, that's my yeah. that's my feeling. So listen, thank you for joining us. Anything else that you want to share or give or a tip or something you want to share with the people who are going to see this? Um, I don't know. I, I mean, <laughs> trying to think of my best advice to help you with tennis, just a general thing. Um, I think that, you know, one of my one of my one of my friends, um, Basil Hassan, he he helped me with this knowledge. But so a little bit of this is from him. A lot a lot a lot of it I kind of swirled it a bit and made it um, my own. own version. Yeah. But this basic basically there's three parts to tennis. All of you who are struggling, there's three parts. You got to figure out what part you're struggling with. I'm not talking strategy per se, but there's recovering. So after you hit the ball, where do you go? What's the footwork to get uh -huh. there, et cetera. And then there's sending the ball, which is the technique, which is what everybody loves to talk about. And then there's receiving the ball. Okay. Receiving the ball is the most important thing in tennis. It's not sending. It's not. It's not because how you send the ball is based on how you received it. And I work with club players so I see it all the time. Their ball recognition skills are very poor. They don't read the spin of the ball. They don't read the depth. They don't read the height. So they read the ball late. And many pros and players, because pros are telling them this, you need to work on your footwork. This is Your footwork is not going to be good if you don't know where the ball's going. Yeah. As simple as that. So there's a lot more to ball recognition skills, you know, reading that height, speed, spin, depth, direction of the ball. But um, – Everybody works on sending skills. You know, my backswing, unit turn, contact, lag, you know, all these fancy terms. And that's really important, the fundamentals to get those down. However, with, uh, you know, like beginners, or intermediates, most of the world is beginner intermediates, uh -huh. a lot of intermediates. Um, they, they need to focus on, on just receiving the ball. 
you obsess over sending, actually what I do is a lot of times I don't do a darn thing with the technique. I, I do like one thing. And you know, some players, especially coaches, say, oh, well, then it's going to be a bad habit right. later on. I just fix it. I don't think it's that hard to fix. Yeah. Um, I just – I don't tell them a thing about the technique because the technique distracts them from the ball and receiving yeah. the ball. You need to get in position. My boss says your best ability is availability. <laughs> he's, he's not talking about tennis when he yeah. said that, but you can apply it to tennis. Um, focus on your receiving skills and recovering skills because that will affect how you send the yes. ball. You, know, you, could, you, could look like, you could look like Federer. You could look like – I actually said this to a lady today. She thought it was really funny. I said, you could look like Federer, have exact same technique as him, but the ball might hit you in the head. <laughs> what good does that do? Well, you look good until it hits you in the head. But you're, you're true. You know, yeah. one of the things we work on the most, or I used to work on with the kids the most, is, listen, that, that ball is your strength. You're immediately asking the question, is it one, two, or three? And so they're asking the question to focus on what's coming back, right? So they, yeah. is it a phase yeah. one ball, phase two ball for us, or phase three ball, right? And that's all you're asking. So you're looking for that recognition of what type of ball is coming back. The minute it leaves your strings, what's coming yeah. back? Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I I just did a I just my last video on YouTube uh, last last uh, came out last Sunday. There's all my videos come out Sunday. Um, I talked about the four anticipatory skills. You've got technical anticipation. You know if you see the opponent has this backswing, mm -hmm. no backswing, then you know they're going to hit a drop shot. It's the only choice. Um, the technical anticipation. You got trends and patterns. You know, doubles, they lob a lot. They don't lob a lot. They hit a cross court a lot. They rarely hit. They often go down down your line. Um, but, um, and then a lot of people, a lot of people just miss shots from choking. They, 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 they get too excited. They get anxious. Um, they, they get nervous. They visualize screwing up. And it happens more than anywhere at the net, at least with my, club level yeah. double yeah 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 days. absolutely <laughs> they hold their breath yeah. they don't look at the ball not looking at the ball is 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 a symptom generally speaking of choking you know they want to look at their target then it you know if you're not confident and watching contact i believe is a technique that 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 is that can be used to perform well under pressure and i talk about that from one of my YouTube videos two weeks ago. It's called it's called like um, why you hit the frame and how to fix it. I saw that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. But um, I'm not saying that that uh, I got that I got to go or, or or something. But it seemed like you were kind of closing it about ten minutes no. ago. So I don't want to ramble on too much. But I can go as long as you want. Um, I just want to thank you. Oh, my pleasure, man. Uh, before I and I wasn't trying to close it off. I just for, want to make sure for, that we keep we try and keep it within the forty-five to an hour range. And so, uh, yeah. yeah, no, that's all. Just because otherwise but it gets really long. Down thank you for the, thank you for the the opportunity to. Um, oh, my pleasure. You know, share my words awesome. and, and share my YouTube channel again. Um, I think that my content on my YouTube channel is good you know go check it out for don't believe anything i go say. check just it out try it <laughs> just check it out um my 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 skills out outside of the content and the knowledge like like the camera angle and and i i'm not good at any other stuff but i can tell you i can tell you i know what i'm talking about and i'm not some kind of like amazingly blessed pro i just study my butt off all the time yeah. And if you study all the time, then you're going to know some things. So I think I can help players of all levels and whatever they're So you, what you, you have, know, have for like, me, my friend, is that, you know, I, as I said, I've seen your content online. I've seen your content in the, in the chat groups. Um, I highly recommend <clears> anybody who's listening to, this, to, to the show or as you see this, it comes out this week. You know, jump on it. Go check them out. Uh, and I think, Jeremy, what would you say? You don't believe me. Just go, go try it. Right? So don't believe. Don't, don't believe. believe. Go don't. try it. Go check it out. Uh, it's at, at Jerry Melfet, and it's going to be at uh, Fundamental Tennis, right, <clears throat> on the YouTube channel. And we'll make sure it's going to be in the comments, yep. right? Since you're on the page, make sure you subscribe to our page because there'll be a lot more. We'd love to have Jeremy. We'd love to have you come back, uh, and, you know, in a few, in a few yeah. months. Love to get back on and, <clears throat> and uh, as, as we get up to viewership and go – as we're a new show as well. 
Um, so I'd love to have you back on yeah. and, and, and get some more information and, and get some more content going from you and maybe do some, uh, maybe even do some live stuff, some live coaching somehow, some way. That'd be pretty cool. And that would be so, awesome. I would love to see other coaches do that with yeah. you and do it myself. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, and get feedback. That would be terrific. That's I got to figure out how to do that one. I think this whole thing is really good idea. This well, is thank great. you. So listen, I, I want to thank you very much for joining me. So how it works now, just so you know, I'll tell everybody is I'm going to put all the links in the, in the box, in the comment box for you. And then I'm, I'm yeah. also going to download this video and then you could take and edit the front end where I had to stall. Right. And then, mm -hmm. and then you could just, you, you, you could put it up on your YouTube channel if you want as well. I mean, so it's pretty yeah. cool. You, yeah, you don't have to, but great. you can. I'll send it to you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, I'll certainly do it. Um, so, yeah, so, yeah, thanks a lot. I'll, I'll be looking at uh, your your future videos. I, you know, your in interviews, pers well, whatever you call yeah, it. Yeah, interviews. I, the my, my whole of, thing is I, I want to, my goal, Jeremy, just so you know, is I want to build an open platform where coaches come on mm. can share information. We can talk and we all, we're not about, Oh, this is my, no, we, the more we share and work together. And I, I mean, um, I, I think the better we can all be right. So that's kind of my goal. Oh, so, yeah, you know, um, do, yeah. do I, am I going to have online courses? Yes, but I don't care. I want to share your information and I want to go learn from you. Yeah. The same idea. So I, I'm trying to build this open platform. That's the goal. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean, so I'd love to have it. And, yeah. and maybe we're, you're in Virginia. So that's not my, my kids go up and play. There's a, I don't, somewhere in the mountains there, they play um, uh, one of those 15 or 20K USD Open tournaments every summer. Before they go down, they play your, in Virginia, then they go down to uh, Tennessee and play Tennessee, and they come back mm -hmm. up again. So maybe we'll come down and see okay. you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that'd be awesome. All right, buddy. I'm going to yeah. fly. Yeah. I'm going to go spend some time with the family because I can now. But I want to thank, right. thank you very much for joining me. I really appreciate it. And as I say, uh, starting tomorrow morning, this, this video will get you out there everywhere. Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you so much. I uh, I appreciate you talking with me and listening to what I got to say. It's awesome. Because I I listen a lot to what my what my my members got to say. It's nice to <clears throat> talk about tennis on a more of a high high IQ. No, it's level. very nice. I thank you so much, my friend. And uh, maybe next time we'll get into more of the technical aspects of it. It'd be great to have a great little conversation around that. Yeah, yeah, I could talk. Yeah doubles and yeah. technique all day i i um and you'll love louis Kaye, by I, the way i, I will I, I don't know you're gonna love that? the louis Kaye book oh the yeah. one the, the yeah. one here yeah yeah it's from like 95 yeah. or something but yeah no it's awesome it's good i did a whole t tennis clinic with heath waters down in atlanta it was it was i'm gonna say and yeah, 85 percent Kaye and and 15 waters and it was but it was unbelievable you know what I mean? yeah He's so funny. I really yeah. like him. He's got some. He's yeah, funny. He's good. So, all right, buddy. Well, thank you. We'll speak soon. And uh, I take care. Thanks everybody thank for watching. Yeah, no, they will. They're, they're gonna fight. They'll, they they start jumping on tomorrow. But thank you. All right. All right, cool. buddy. I love it. Thank you so much. Thanks. Take care, Sean. Thanks, Jeremy. Bye now. Bye, everybody.